KPW News 8's Paul Merrill joins us now live from South Berwick. Paul. Brian Sanborn is facing one count of violation of privacy, but police say they expect more charges to be coming. Sanborn worked as a chemistry teacher and girls basketball coach here at Berwick Academy until late last month. Police tell us he would walk around with a digital camera in the palm of his hand so he could secretly record his female students. Police say Brian Sanborn took pictures and videos up the skirts of female students and behind teenage girls who were bending over. Investigators say the 54 year old veteran teacher and girls basketball coach did so for as long as a year and a half in plain sight. I'm not sure how they didn't see it. I think it was uh, uh, an ongoing practice for Mr. Sanborn to carry a camera with him at all times, and people weren't in a non trusting way. I mean, they trust their teachers. He's been there 17 plus years. Uh, they f didn't feel invaded by it, and it was a couple male students that felt they saw him videoing in precarious situations that unfolded the investigation and brought it to the administration. Berwick Academy fired Sanborn last month after the allegations came to light. Police have been analyzing computer evidence they seized from Sanborn's Sanford home. South Berwick Police Chief Dana LaJoy says the evidence is disturbing but not pornographic. We've reviewed 75 video clips and have found no nudity at this time. We spoke with Sanborn at the door of his home earlier this month. He told us, the fact is I think very highly of my students and I would jump in front of a bullet for any of them. I certainly never meant to hurt anybody here, but it has turned out that way and I do apologize for it. Police say they've interviewed six students and identified one potential victim. Chief LaJoy says it doesn't appear that Sanborn shared the pictures or videos with anyone else. At this point in time, we have not found any evidence whatsoever that this was published, released, uh, no connectivity to the web that we've found through forensic analysis. So we're hoping that we've got the entirety on the computer and it has not been released anyways. Sanborn's lawyer still hasn't returned our request for comment, and nobody answered the door at Sanborn's Sanford home today. Berwick Academy did give us a written statement, a short statement, essentially saying this is now a police matter and they are cooperating with the investigation. We wrote back to the head of school, wanted to know what, if anything, is being done here at Berwick Academy to prevent something like this from happening in the future. We never heard back. Live in South Berwick, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.